Hello there and welcome to this update on where I'm at with the Steven Max's awesome display circuit boards or SMADs as we like to call them. Clive Maxfield better known as Max is a good friend of mine and Max is based in the US working as a freelance technical writer and consultant. Among other things he writes for the Max's Cool Beans columns in the UK's Practical Electronics magazine. A while back Max asked if I could come up with a variation of the 21 segment RGB LED board used in my Victorian style display. This was for him to use and write about in the PE magazine articles. Between the two of us we came up with a square display with a few more RGB LEDs, 45 to be exact. Furthermore I came up with two variations of 3D printed shell designs, one with 29 segments and the other with 45 segments, each offering a slightly different effect. Some of the segments in the 29 segment shell have two LEDs in them which allows for a crude colour gradient to be implemented in those segments. By comparison, the 45 segment shell only has one LED per segment and the result looks more like a stained glass window. I had originally placed some of my SMAD boards in 3D printed spectacle frames, as shown here, with each of the two different shell designs. Max on the other hand mounted his SMADs on stands that look like pseudo robot heads. Around September in 2021, Max suggested that maybe we could augment our eyes with some motion somehow. He pointed me at a YouTube video showing some animatronic eyes designed and built by James Bruton, whose objective was to demonstrate a way to smooth servo movement. As James's project is the inspiration to create my own animatronic eye design, I think it only fair to give James credit where credit is due, because parts of my design are a close match to his work. For this reason, you can find the link to James's YouTube video in the description below. Over the last three months or so, from the end of September to the end of December 2021, I've been learning a great deal more on how to use Fusion 360, which has been used extensively for designing my version of the animatronic eyes. Like James's model, most of my parts are 3D printed. Some key differences in my design compared to James's are that I use the SMAD boards mounted inside the eyeballs and the mechanical eyelids have been emitted. In our case, blinking and other effects will be simulated using the SMADs. Another difference is that I've implemented rod end ball joints and 2mm stainless steel rods to make the servo linkages. As my model is quite heavy, these linkages will be much sturdier than 3D print versions and have better freedom of movement. In addition, I've implemented up down as well as left right eye movement. There are a few ways to do this, but I wanted to achieve the movements with each servo mounted separately from the eyeballs. To this end, I created universal joints and mounted one in each eyeball and mounted four 9 gram servos on a support frame with the link rods connecting the servos to the universal joints. There is approximately plus or minus 35 degrees of movement in each eyeball for the up, down, left and right directions. With regard to head movement for swivel and tilt left and right, I've pretty much copied what James has implemented. How I read the joysticks and drive the servos also differs from James's design. Instead of using direct I.O. pins on the microcontroller, I use two 4-channel 12-bit analogue to digital converter breakout boards Bobs, along with the 16-channel pulse width modulation PWM, driver bob, where the microcontroller communicates with each of these bobs via the I2C bus. Both the PWM and the analogue to digital converter bobs are available from Adafruit, who also provide associated Arduino libraries for them. The links are available in the description. The microcontroller of choice here for me on this project is the Teensy LC, which I have mounted on one of my custom Teensy multifunctional breakout boards. Aside from the servos and the servo driver bob, all located on the animatronic, all other components reside in a 3D printed console case requiring only external 5V power. Power, I2C and LED control signals are then relayed from the console to the animatronic via an umbilical. I've never designed anything using servos before, so I'm rather pleased with how this has turned out hardware wise so far. I do await the delivery of some higher quality servos for the swivel and tilt actions, as the current servos are less than smooth. The software also needs a lot of work, and what is shown here is just a demo to prove that the parts will move with an expectation. I should just mention the eyeball fascia, that started life as a flat, thin as possible design, primarily to keep the diffuser pressed against the shells that form the segment shapes. As a precursor to starting the animatronic project, I had come up with the idea of a curved fascia, one that could give the spectacle frame design more depth. It worked much better than expected and therefore features in the animatronic design. 
I must say that this project has been a lot of fun to create and I've learned a lot more about Fusion 360 as a result, so much so that I currently consider Fusion 360 to be my favourite application by far. Well that's all for this video and I'll post more videos in the future as things develop. I welcome your comments and if you like this video then please consider clicking on the like, share and subscribe buttons. Thank you for watching.